connect. Akron defeated Kent State twice in the regular season. Kent State, despite being picked to finish second in the conference, came in as the eighth seed. But big wins over Miami and Bowling Green have them here in the championship game against the number two seed, Akron. Ali Ali with the basketball, and he turns it over. Von Cameron Davis leads the charge for Kent State and gets our first field goal of the game. Yeah, Davis, one of those really physical guards when he gets downhill, he wants the bump. And he got the bump there and finished through it. These two teams played in the 2022 championship. There are plenty of players remaining from that game, including this guy, Enrique Freeman, who kicks it back out to his teammate, Ali. Excuse me, that's Nate Johnson for three. Uh, Nate Johnson, known as a shooter for John Gross and the Akron Zips. He was out with an injury earlier this year, has been a single-digit scorer over the last six, seven games. But tonight, good news for the Akron Zips when that young man gets it going. Yeah, contact lens on the floor. Ali Ali lost the lens. We want to make sure everybody's got 20-20 vision. Yeah. This is an important game. So Akron, they're coming off that tight game yesterday to Ohio. They trailed by 10 at the half. The trio of Sammy Hunter, Ali Ali, and Enrique, Enrique Freeman combined for 54 of the 65 points for Akron. So that bucket there, the three-pointer by Nate Johnson, for John Gross's team is something they lacked last night. Outside of those three, they didn't get a whole lot of scoring production. Enrique Freeman last night put on one of the greatest performances I've ever seen in a college basketball game. 24 points, 21 rebounds, and he brought this entire arena to their feet. I mean, as a, as a journalist, I'm sitting here getting ready for the game. You can't root for anybody. I went three rows back so I could give him a standing ovation. <laughs> yep. That's how good he and was. He also had a career high seven blocks as yep. well in the two games that he's played here in this tournament. It's combined for 54 points. Absolutely showing out the Mac player of the year for the Zips. Penn State with the basketball. Gio Santiago who had six three pointers in the win against Bowling Green. Was it inside and Von Cameron Davis was fouled. Johnson picked up the personal. Pace of play is going to be really interesting tonight. And Kent State, even though they've been the number eight seed in this tournament, knocked off the number one seed Toledo in the first round. Kent has led 77% of the minutes so far in the Mid-American Conference tournament. They like to play with the lead. They like to hold pace down. And Rob Senderoff, their head coach, knows how to win in this tournament, won it last year, won in 2017. This is the third consecutive title game that his golden flashes have appeared in. Back in for Davis goes down. He's coming off a seven-point performance in the semifinal game. Take a look at the starting lineup for Akron. Enrique Freeman, one of the best players, not only in this conference, but in the country as well. Ali Ali and Sammy Hunter, that trio is where most of their offense comes from as Ali Ali misses the turnaround in the lane. Yeah, why does Ali Ali fade away against a smaller defender? And Jalen Soldier is 5'10. Ali Ali is 6'8. You don't fade in that situation. Santiago got a high screen, missed the 18-footer. Santiago and Sullinger combined for 42 points in the semifinal game. They'll need all of that here to keep up with the offense of Akron. Good defense on the interior by Kent State. Can Kent State figure out how to slow down Enrique Freeman? That's the question when it comes to pace. Can you slow down the big man for Akron? Yeah, and that's the question everybody has in the country, and nobody's come up with that answer throughout the season. Good start for Von Cameron Davis, who's got all five of the points for Kent State. The seven points that Davis had in the semifinals is the first game since December 29th that he did not have a double-figure scoring effort. He has been great. Starting out hot in this one. The defense on the inside once again. Three-pointer missed by Sammy Hunter, and then a bump foul on the hip check by Greg Tribble, his first.
So early on in this game, the Kent State physicality defensively is affecting Akron's ability. Ali Ali has had a mismatch against a smaller defender on two straight possessions. One he fades away, the other time he gives it up. He's got to attack those smaller defenders, just jump over and make a shot. And you have to think somebody's going to have to start making mid-range and long jumpers for Akron so Enrique Freeman gets freed up a little bit down low. Yeah, and on the opposite end for Kent State, of course, Jalen Sullinger, number 13 in gold, with, just gave up the ball. And his buddy Santiago right there, those two guys went off last night for 42 points, often from long range. And the 42 points, 33 were from behind the arc of those two guys. Cameron Davis has the ISO, and he traveled. Kent State, overall 17 and 16, 8 and 10 in conference play. Coach, you know, they've had to play without Chris Payton Jr., who's second year transfer from Pitt, Reggie Bass, who came over from Central Michigan. And despite that, they come into this tournament as the eight seed. They really only got into the tournament by one game over Ball State. Would have missed out on the tournament altogether, but they have dominated their first two games here in Cleveland. Uh, Kent State learned a lot from their loss to Toledo, and they regrouped and came in here, refocused, and we're seeing them come out in a tight 1-3-1 zone that's giving Akron a lot of problems. Kent State lost to Toledo in the final regular season game and then knocked them off the number one seed in the quarterfinals here a couple days ago. Four on the shot clock as they go inside to Karan Hornbeek. That's going to be a critical matchup. Hornbeek inside versus Enrique Freeman. That time Hornbeek gets the best of Freeman. Hornbeek 9-9 nine and nine in the semifinal win. Nutmeg on that one inside to Enrique Freeman for his first bucket of the game. The way to beat the 1-3-1, even though it's packed in tight, is make sure you move the ball, diagonal passes, and hard cuts from the backside. That's exactly what Freeman read that time. First bucket for the MAC Player of the Year. And it seems like for Kent State on the offensive end, they're trying to get Von Cameron David. Coach at Kent, and of course, Rob was best man at Jim's, at Jim's wedding. <laughs> and now Jim is a very calming influence for Rob Sundross, who sometimes needs a calming influence. In this environment, especially. MAC Championship game is firing off a three, Jalen Sullinger out of the break. Every assistant coach on that bench either played for Jim Christian or for Rob Sendro. That's how tight this team is. Ali Ali buries the three. First lead of the game for the Zips. Ali Ali at 6'8, a really difficult matchup for defenses. He brings such energy to this team. He had 19 points in the title game against Kent State two years ago. Menace on defense as well. Caleb Thornton in there defensively for Akron, guarding the ball now. Pull off jumper from the mid range. That's Mike Bakelja, the junior from Solon, Ohio. Good start for Kent State offensively. Four of six from the floor. And Kent back in the man-to-man -man coming out of the dead ball situation. Switch up little defenses here. Trying to give Akron some different looks. It's Ali Ali squaring, facing up, and rimming in. So guess what Kent State talked about defensively on those switches? They are in trouble with Ali Ali. And Ali Ali on Akron is taking advantage of it, taking advantage of his size. Sullinger misses the floater. Kent State will keep the basketball. And I guess the problem is, Coach, when you're playing against Akron, if you put too much focus defensively on Enrique Freeman, that get, lets guys like Ali and Ali and Sammy Hunter get open shots. Yeah, Sammy Hunter went off last night, and Ali Ali is such a dynamic offensive presence. At 6'8", he can handle it. He can jump over defenders. He can make a three ball. He can go down the paint and do it as well. And with these smaller guards they are switching off, look for Ali Ali to continue to attack. Sullinger and Santiago, that combination for Kent State, scoreless so far, six minutes in. Here is Santiago, foot on the line, no dice. Where Akron's defense was sterling that possession. Dawson, a pull-up three. Michael Dawson coming off the bench. He averages five points per game as a senior for this zip squad. He's now guarding Von Cameron Davis. Sullinger from way downtown. The southpaw comes up short. 
Offensive rebound for Magnus Entman. I love Magnus Entman. A walk-on kid that just makes every hustle play. Number 14 in gold for the Golden Flashes tonight. Watch him. Solinger, ISO ball, switched over to his right hand for that shot. Yeah, Jalen Solinger, look, the Solinger name is royalty here in the state of Ohio, and this kid is carrying on that tradition of the Solinger family. His dad, Julian, an associate head coach on this team, excuse me, his uncle. His dad, JJ, played for Ohio State. Of course, Jared Solinger, also an Ohio State legend. Thornton blocked, and I'm not sure if it was a pass or a shot. Either way, went right into the hands of Julius Rollins. Now Rollins on the offensive end. Double pump in the air, not doing anything. Good baseline cut. Ali Ali missed the reverse layup. Yeah, Sammy Hunter, a really good passer out of the post, found Ali Ali, not able to finish. Akron, 4 of 9 from the floor to start it. Kent State, 5 of 11. And Santiago boots that one into the first row. And referee saying it should stay with Kent State. Akron arguing that it was kicked out of bounds by Santiago. I thought that's what happened. No question. Santiago kicked that thing right through the goalpost at the, at the football field across the way. Substitutions as Ron Hornby back into the game for Kent State. Naeem Freeman, grad transfer from UCF, is in there as well. I'd like to see Kent State get the ball more in the paint. They went for 42 points in the paint as they upset Toledo in the quarterfinals. And there's a point in the paint right there. Solinger doesn't get knocked down. Solinger now one for five from the floor. They were getting good paint looks early in the game from Von Cameron Davis. Haven't gone back to him after he scored the first five points for the Golden Flashes. He's currently on the bench. They got to do a throw over the top. There it is. Upside defense comes over on Freeman, backing in on Hornby, and Freeman will go to the free throw line. Well, Enrique Freeman quiet so far. Eric Rothman, Mark Adams with you in Cleveland. You see the two times since 2000 that the men's team and women's team also won the MAC tournament championship. Kent State did it in 2002, Buffalo in 2019. Rob Senderoff and company trying to do the same thing here today for Kent State. Right now, Enrique Freeman at the line for the Zips. And Senderoff's squad has done a good job so far guarding Freeman. He hasn't had a ton of touches. Well, they've, they've surrounded him in that tight 1-3-1 one, one zone, and they're laying a body on him. And right now, Akron's got to figure it out and start getting him touches. They're sending a second defender every time he catches it. So you know what? Then he turns into a passer to the backside. Three points, one rebound for the Mac Player of the Year. Kent State, eight paint points. As they try to go inside offensively, Santiago's been held scoreless, coming off a 20-point performance in the semi-win against Bowling Green. Sullinger, that's a tough shot. Freeman rips down the rebound. Yeah, Greg Triple was just really physical with Sullinger on that play and knocked him off his path. Calling forward in the corner is Amani Lyles. Freeman, the offensive rebound. Freeman back up, no whistle. Third chance, rejected by Hornby. Or sometimes when you watch Enrique Freeman go after rebound, it looks like everybody else is in slow motion. Hornbeek with a good reaction on the shot. Freeman had 21 rebounds in the semifinal win against Ohio. Pick and roll, Hornbeek, leaner, no. Kent State 5 of 14 from the floor now. Akron 4 of 12. Look, look at all the gold jerseys as to how they're surrounding Freeman inside. So Freeman comes out to give the driving angle. Tavari Johnson takes advantage of the open lane. Now Freeman provided spacing right there by leaving the post area. Seven different lead changes in this one so far. Oh my goodness, Sullinger shot that one, I think, from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame parking lot. And he could make it, too. So Enrique Freeman, look, he gets an offensive rebound. Watch this. He goes right back up. He goes right back at it again. Everybody's in slow motion except him. And then Hornbeek denies the, the opportunity to the rim. But he's so quick off his feet, and Hornbeek has to be 
more responsive whenever Freeman goes up with a shot. Coach, for Kent State offensively, they've had 15 field goal attempts. Sullinger has taken seven of them and only made one. He's one of those rhythm guys, though. When he gets it going, holy cow, was he good last night. 22 points in the win last night against Bowling Green. Yeah, he was 5 of 7 from 3. Yeah. And this guy, Gio Santiago, got it done. Santiago scoreless in this one. 5 to shoot now. Just no angle in there for Taim Freeman. Akron is so effective at knocking shooters off their balance in subtle ways with their hips. I've seen it time and time again. Akron. Top 30 in the country in scoring defense this year. Opponents averaging just 66 points per game against them as Freeman fouled away from the basket. You know, it's not a foul if it's not called. And Akron does a really good job with their lower body of deflecting the dribble, leaning into a guy right before he shoots. They keep guys off balance when they're on defense. It's really an effective tool how they use their lower bodies defensively. Foul was on Von Cameron Davis, his first. Trapped in the corner, nowhere to go. Ali Ali, and just throws it away. That is great preparation by Rob Senderoff and his staff. That's what they worked on out of bounds play. One thing you know when you go against Kent State, they're going to run really good out of bounds stuff, and they're going to defend your out of bounds stuff. And right there, they invited the ball to Ali Ali to go in the corner. They were ready for that. That's no accident. That's preparation. That's why they call it a trap, right? That's exactly right. Right there <laughs> in that often corner. That's not a football term. That's a basketball term in my house. Under 10 minutes to go here in the opening half of our MAC championship game. Champ week. Here in Cleveland. And the three-pointer by Mike Batelja. Now, Bekelja was open because of the screen by Sollinger. That little dude just stuck his nose in the defender. First three-pointer of the game for Kent State on five attempts. Bekelja, who has been in the starting lineup since the middle of January. The response on the other end, not there for Tribble. And a foul on the rebound will go against the Zips. Enrique Freeman now starting to recognize what the defense is giving him. They're sending a second defender. Now he's finding open teammates. That didn't work out on that play, but he's starting to figure it out. <laughs> 10 on the shot clock. Kent State leading by one. Another missed three-pointer for Sellinger, who's 0 for 4 from that distance. Zip's not unaccustomed to getting off to a slow start. They trailed by 10 at the half yesterday against Ohio before winning by three to advance to our championship game as Ali Ali, a good move inside to put him back on top. Look now how the ball is moving. A good diagonal to the corner and then a cut right down the gut. Akron's starting to figure out the defense of Kent State. First bucket of the game for Giovanni Santiago. Redshirt senior from Puerto Rico who played high school ball in Cincinnati. His first field goal. Guy averaging nine a game, but he has had a fantastic tournament. 20 points in the semifinal. Back to the zone for Kent State. Left Johnson open. Offensive rebound, Ali Ali. And in that zone, the best offense is the second chance points. Manufactured points against the zone. Watch Freeman as the ball goes up. 25 and white. Turnover. Travels the call on Kamari Johnson, fifth turnover on Akron. Kent State on top by one. Looking to go back to back here at the MAC Tournament Championship. More from Cleveland in a moment. It's a kangaroo. It was a greyhound. We saw the Akron Zips mascot bouncing around here. Zippy. Zippy. Yeah. They curl up in the pouch there. Takes a nice little nap. Eric Rothman, Mark Adams with you. There's Zippy. Seems to be enjoying himself, as we all are here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Penn State on top by one. Both teams struggling a bit offensively. Both teams right around the 47% mark from the floor. Feeling each other out. It's like the early rounds of a boxing match. Now, basically, four guards on the floor right now, along with 
couple physical presences inside. There's one of them, Von Cameron Davis at 6-5. Skip pass in the corner. Lips out for Bakelja. The foul on the floor will go against Akron. Yeah, Magnus Entenman, one of those guys, number 14, just makes winning plays. Mac freshman of the year. He had 20 points six times this year. He's got that Napoleon Dynamite look going right now. And he's playing Dynamite in this tournament. First foul on Sammy Hunter. Of course, Entenman heir to the donut fortune. No, I'm just totally kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll get to know him better. <laughs> I'm sorry for the Napoleon Dynamite comment then. <laughs> Santiago, baseline. He's starting to get a bit of a rhythm. Back to back buckets on his last two attempts. And the mixing and matching of defenses continues from Kent State. One time it's a 2 3 zone, next time it's a man to man. And then it's that tight 1 3 1 inside. But it seems to be making Akron a little skittish. You see the traveling there, but they just haven't gotten comfortable in the half court. They haven't been able to engage Freeman the way that they like, and they're trailing this game by three. Well, the reason you switch defenses is to take the other team out of their rhythm. And I think the best way to describe it is that the Akron Zips right now are out of their rhythm. Well, Freeman's on the bench. You see those nine points off of turnovers for Kent State. On Cameron Davis, backing in, spinning, beats his man, and says, too small, Ali, Ali. But Cameron's got seven. Yeah, he makes such good decisions. Honorable mention all Mac. He's improved in every aspect of his game on Cameron Davis. Five point advantage for the Golden Flashes. In the corner. Johnson missing the three. Now, I think at halftime, Akron's going to talk about they're going to get another offensive player in the dead zone of that zone, right around that Mac logo area in the paint. Zips now two for eight from three. And State one for seven. And Cameron Davis, the leading scorer with seven. Inside, it's Magnus Intamin. Times in this MAC championship tournament. It's an 8 0 run for Kent State over the last two and a half minutes. Freeman back into the ball game for Akron. Now Kent back in their man-to-man -man set. Switch defense again, coming out of the timeout by Rob Senderoff. Hornbeek squat defense on Freeman and a hand check foul up top on Hornbeek. And that'll be his second. And John Gross, he wants to get the ball in the hands of Enrique Freeman as much as possible now. So quickly Hornbeek to the bench. Entman back in there to deal with Freeman. Good luck. Well, this I know. Entman's going to be really physical with number 25 in white versus number 14 in gold. Freeman versus Entman right there. He's got the isolation on the far side. Scott got bumped and a whistle. A good call. Kent State doing a really good job of doubling on Freeman in different situations. That time it was on the second dribble that they ran at him. Sometimes they've been going at him right away off the first dribble, even when he catches it down the block. So they're mixing and matching those looks when they monster him down on the on the block. Monster means double team, trap hard against the big guy. They go back to Freeman. And Freeman does work on Antiman. Five points now for Enrique. Yeah, no double team because he caught it so deep. He was right by the rim. And it was a quick decision on the pass inside as well. It didn't give Kent State a chance to adjust. That ends the drought. Nearly three minutes scoreless for Akron before that bucket. Back inside, Von Cameron Davis. He's been the focal point here in the first half for Kent State offensively. Missed that one underneath. Ball will go to the Zips. Yeah, Von Cameron Davis at 6'5", 229 pounds. He's the first Ohio Mr. Basketball to ever play at Kent State. And he is a load down low. He's a hard matchup, has some guard skills to his game, but also could go down there and power the ball to the rim. I actually finished 445th in voting for Mr. Ohio, Mr. Ohio Basketball. Did you really? Yeah. True. At least you got a vote. There's my mom. Yep. I got none. <laughs> I got cut. <laughs> I did too. That's why I got the headset. <laughs> Ali, Ali, lobbing inside, help side. Freeman too strong. Entman, the foul. 
Mikkelja came over, made Freeman hesitate for a second. Entman was in position, didn't like the whistle. But watch this catch. I mean, that's in traffic. He holds on to the ball while Mikkelja goes by him and still goes up to the rim. And that's a heck of a catch right there in traffic. And look at all the golden jerseys that surround Enrique Freeman. You think they're focused on him tonight? Well, what a story Freeman is. He is a walk-on because he had zero offers at any level to play basketball in college. He came to Akron on an academic scholarship. His mother encouraged him to try out. It was an open tryout his freshman year. And he has morphed into not only one of the best defensive players in the country, he's now the MAC player of the year and one of the best players in the history of this conference. And what no one knows during that tryout, look, he grew from 6'4 to 6'7 from high school to college when he sat out one year and then decided to try out because, as you mentioned, his mother, Tanya, said, son, you got to give yourself a shot here. And he went during that tryout, he was playing so hard, running up and down the floor, he actually threw up into a trash can and ran back on the floor without the coaches ever noticing he had barfed during his tryout. <laughs> Selinger, the turnaround at the free throw circle. That is toughness. Three and a half minutes to go here. Six point lead for Kent State in half number one. Six to shoot now for Amani Lyles. Gotta get rid of it if you're Dawson. No bucket. Foul on the floor. Freeman drew the foul against Entenmann. The question is, after the refs confer, will the basket count or not? They say no. At the moment, it was a three for Dawson. Just Entenmann, Freeman goes line to shoot two, and possession for Akron. But just to finish the point, Coach, as Freeman takes the free throws, you saw head coach Rob Senderoff in his 13th year for Kent State. This is a Kent State team that lost to Toledo twice in the regular season, lost to Akron twice in the regular season, lost to Ohio twice in the regular season. Yet here they are as the eighth seed, under 500 in conference play this year, looking to repeat as tournament champions. But you mentioned that the injuries that they went through, when you lose your preseason first team all Mac Chris Payton, you lose a lot. But somehow, some way, Rob Sendroff has kept this team in the hunt throughout the season and that loss to Toledo where they were a little bit humiliated and they came back and just decided to kind of redesign refocus redo everything it's helped them get better and that loss was the final regular season game of the year for Kent State against Toledo they played Toledo the number one seed in the first round of this tournament and knocked them out and then defeated Bowling Green in the semifinal here's Freeman offensive foul well, Freeman had drawn five fouls against Kent State. This time, called for one of his own. Yeah, Von Cameron Davis really moves his feet right there as Freeman lowers his shoulder. Watch Davis just step in. You know what? That looks like the defender was the guy that initiated contact right there. Let's look at this angle. And he's moving into him. That's a foul on the defender. That's a bad call. Second foul on Freeman, who's got... Eight points, four rebounds, coming off the 24-point, 21-rebound game in the semifinal win over Ohio. Akron defeated number seven Miami of Ohio in the quarters, and then the Ohio University Bobcats in the semifinal. Boy, Akron really picking up their pressure defensively right now. Oh, but Santiago had a window, and he missed the bunny. Yeah, wide open, total defensive breakdown by Akron on the curl cut. Santiago would love to have that one back. A clean look. Too strong off the glass. Two and a half minutes to go until the half. Spin move in the lane, and Triple can't get the roll. It will stay with Akron underneath. Now the difference for Akron right now is there's, there's more dribbling than passing. They're more effective when the ball moves aggressively. I don't care if Kent State's in man or zone or what they in. They need spacing and ball movement and then attack off the ball movement. A little bit impatient right now for Akron. These two teams, a long history. It goes back to 1916. This is the 165th meeting all time. The series, would you know it, is tied 82 to 82. 
over 100 years, and we are break even. A rematch of the championship game from two years ago as Ali Ali hits the three. He's in double figure scoring, and Akron is on top by two. At 16 and 8 last night against Ohio in the semis. You don't have to run a defense for Ali Ali. Oh, and he's hyped on defense too. But he lets his man absolutely blow by him. Jalen Sullinger to the bucket. Yeah, Sullinger just torched Ali Ali. Yeah, he looked good. <laughs> yeah. It didn't work out too good. <laughs> oh, <dang it. laughs> Sullinger, three of ten. Mismatch inside. Sullinger's matched up inside. Yeah, he wants to get out of there. Now they get out of it. Ali Ali in the corner. Might have gotten away with the travel. Still yeah. nowhere to go. But Kelja all over him. Somehow finds the slashing of Monty Lyles, and the atmosphere has picked up here in this building, Coach. And yeah, what an ugly offensive possession, but somehow it worked out for Akron. Ali changed pivot feet in that far corner. He did. No whistle. Von Cameron Davis missing the three. Empty possession there for the Golden Flashes. He's hunting. Freeman out of the game for Akron, and instead it's Tribble, the one-handed leader in the lane. Yeah, Akron not settling now. Attack mode offensively by the white jerseys. The Akron zips. Kent State takes a timeout. Akron getting going off. Akron fans on their feet. Kent State looking to quiet them out of the timeout. It's been a tough first half for Sullinger. Three for 11 from the floor. Transition, three-point attempt. Rims out for Imani Lyles. Offensive save as Michael Dawson threw it off. A golden flash player out of bounds. Well, Akron last night got down early against Ohio and in a mad rush during the first half came back and took the lead. Very similar scenario here tonight. Go. 30 seconds to go and half number one, 15 on the game clock. Ali Ali for three and one! That thing had backspin like a lob wedge off the heel of the rim and fell in. But the ball is moving now. That's the point for Akron. It's not stalling off the dribble. And Ali Ali receives the pass on the third pass to possession and knocks it down, takes the bump, and goes right to the Akron cheering section, lets them know, hey, we're here to win a championship tonight. Foul was on Rollins, four-point play for Ali Ali, who's got 14 in the first half for the Zips. And now Akron goes really small. Ali Ali at 6'8", he'll be the big dude out there. But they're going small right now for quickness defensively. Michael Dawson in at 6'5", 222. A strong guy enters the game. Shot clock off for the final 15 seconds of the first half. 16 to 2 run for Akron. A time Freeman number 22 for the Zips. Five seconds to go for Sullinger, guarded by Ali. Deep three for Sullinger. That, wow! will, help. that will help a lot. Sullinger, who was 0 for 4 before that one. Drains the finish the half. Kent State again capitalizing off the early turnovers from Akron. They got 11 points off those turnovers, led by as many as seven, did Kent State. Akron led by as many as eight. Back and forth first half. Ali Ali leading the way for Akron. Sullinger and Von Cameron Davis leading the way for a combined 16 points for Kent State. Here's Sullinger out of the break. Back-to-back -back triples for Jalen Sullinger. Yeah, I am sure that Penn State, they challenge their guards, Santiago and Sullinger, to step up. The Golden Flashes need those two little dudes to make plays in this half. Freeman, good cut, got open, finish. How good is that coming out of halftime? That's a set play by John Gross to get a backside cut for his best player, Enrique Freeman, to get him engaged to start this half. Brilliant coaching. Ten points, four boards now for the Mac Player of the Year. Enrique Freeman, 
on Cameron Davis off the front iron, and ball will stay with Kent State after Ali Ali lost it out of bounds. Sullinger who's hit back-to-back -back threes for Kent State. Coach Falk started the game one for eight, now four of his last five. And if they're going to get offense, he's averaging 15 points per game. He's the guy that is going to be consistent, they hope, here in the second half. Well, he did it last night. He completely dominated in the second half. Made shot after shot, and it didn't matter how deep they were. This kid's got the neon green light, and I'd give him that every time down. It's a 13-point win in the semis against Bowling Green as Greg Tribble picks up his second foul for Akron. Here he comes. Sullinger got the screen, left alone. Three in a row for Jalen Sullinger. Rob Sanderoff is one of the best in the country at out-of-bounds plays. They score more on out-of-bounds plays than maybe anybody in the country. Missed his first four from three, made his last three. Three for seven overall. Johnson on the other end. Nate Johnson, the redshirt sophomore from Cincinnati. Normally a single digit score, but right there got three from downtown. Sollinger, bit of a mismatch against Sammy Hunter. Sollinger, the south ball floater. To his left. I love Jalen Sollinger, and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> that kick can flat out play. When he gets it going, he is entertaining. Freeman and one. It's the Sollinger Freeman show to start the second half. The two best players for their respective teams. Look, this kid also takes and makes big shots. Look at the screen right here. I mean, nobody's close. That's building the Great Wall of China right in front of Jalen Sollinger, who's more than happy to knock it down. Sollinger now up to 17 points. As Freeman to the free throw line. And he's starting to get his rhythm now, too. He electrified this building last night. His second half was as good as I've seen anywhere this season. He can go off like he did last night. Akron will win. But this little kid can make it happen too. Number 13 in gold. Davis bumped off his line. Freeman the rejection. Here's Sollinger who's got 11 straight points for Kent State. He wants more. He's hunting more. Go ahead. Baseline, mid-range, off the side of the backboard. Entman on the ground. And tied up with Freeman, held ball, no possession ball. arrow, Akron. What a shock that Entman and Freeman would be on the ground together going after that loose ball. I love it when they give up skin. The mop crew out there, wiping up the sweat. Great crowd here at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. These two universities separated by just 11 miles. A rematch of the 2022 championship game. Four players from each team participated in that contest when Akron won it. Kent State came back, won it last year. This is their third straight appearance in the title game. Kent State now shows that packed in 1 3 1 zone. It was effective in the first half, they're going back to it. They we're able to limit the touches for Freeman with the mixing up of defenses. As Johnson, a little bit of a heat check there, and misses the three. When you talk about the great rivalry, I remember Romeo Travis and Drew Joyce, that bunch, Antonio Gates at Penn State. So many great players for both of these programs over the course of decades. The series goes back to 1916. This is the 165th matchup between the two schools. And contrary to popular opinion, I did not call that game in 1916. No, that's correct. You yeah. wrote about it on a typewriter. That's exactly right. <laughs> there is the Actually, it was a pen and quill. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then you sent the uh, carrier pigeon to report that's to the exactly ESPN right. headquarters yep. in Bristol. That's how we rolled in 1916, <laughs> young man. <laughs> Triple three fouls now. Sollinger looking for an angle. Up top, Santiago. He wants to get into the party. Entman on the offensive glass. Couldn't hang on. I love Magnus Entenmann's motor. He just goes and gets it. He knows his role. He knows to bring energy. He knows to get an extra possession. He does whatever it takes to win basketball games.
There's that dead spot. That's where you got to get it. Look at Ali Ali in the middle, number 24. Get him the ball. There he is. Popped out to the wing to get it. 12 to shoot. Johnson, runner off the glass. No, Freeman couldn't hang on. I like the possession though, and I like Ali Ali with his size in the middle of that zone and then moving to open spaces. Santiago cradling it like a fullback, but sent packing by Enrique Freeman. Well, Enrique Freeman is just so active. He reminds me of Kenneth Fareed, who was the nation's leading rebounder at Moorhead State once upon a time and spent about 10 years in the NBA. This guy understands the game. He understands angles. He blocks shots. He goes, gets rebounds. Another guy that I saw back in the 80s was Dennis Rodman. He reminds me of Dennis Rodman because he's constantly pursuing the ball. The worm. Enrique Freeman, you see his numbers here in this tournament. 54 combined points in the quarters and the semis. Seven blocks, career high in that semifinal game. All saved from going out of bounds by Caleb Thornton. Now you got to spread it and move it. They do. Well it's done. Miles baseline. Move it again. Ali in the corner. Dawson, offensive board. Thornton will try. And knocked out of bounds by Kent Sneak. Under 16 timeout. Watch. Pearl Jam, and he's going to go watch them in Las Vegas in May. Yeah. And guess what? He's taking a couple of his buddies. Okay. And their names are Sam, Goon, and Worm. What kind of a concert is that going to be for Rob Senderoff? That's been a pretty good trip to Vegas. Sounds like Rob Senderoff is the lead character in his own version of Entourage. Yeah, Goon, Sam, Worm, and Sandy. So we'll just start calling Coach Las Vegas. Vinny Chase. He's got Turtle, Johnny <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Eight turnovers <laughs> on Akron now as Coach Senderoff and Kent State, they've done a good job taking advantage of those turnovers. Well, these guards are so good, Santiago and Solinger. I mean, when they spell a turnover, they spell points. 11 points off turnovers for the Kent State offense. Here's Von Cameron Davis backing in against Freeman. On Cameron Davis at position, ball swatted out of bounds. It's going to stay with Kent State. Boy, Enrique Freeman just held his ground on that play. That was a physical play going to the rim, but Enrique Freeman played as good a defense as you will see, just built the house around the basket. Akron top 30 in the country in scoring defense this year, top 20 in three-point defense. Up by five here in the MAC championship game. Eric Rothman, Mark Adams with you. 15 minutes and change to go, half number two. On Cameron Davis, no, no. Enrique Freeman, but a whistle. Well, I don't think that's on Enrique Freeman. It'll be on Dawson. Watch Enrique Freeman. Watch how he comes from the backside. And he goes straight up to block that shot. Foul is on number 22. Michael Dawson is second. Man, I'm telling you, I saw Kenneth Freed in person a lot in the OVC in Moorhead State and Manimal just absolutely dominated that league and dominated college basketball on the glass. Enrique Freeman reminds me so much of Kenneth Freed. John Cameron Davis, his credit, is backing down Freeman on that play, trying to go right after him. Davis, despite missing his last five from the floor, gets to the free throw line. He's a former Mr. Basketball in the state of Ohio. First ever Mr. Ohio Basketball from Ohio to go to Kent State. Yep. At 26 in the quarterfinal game against number one, Toledo. And he's got nine here in this one. Now a little bit of extended pressure falling back into the zone again. There's Ali Ali getting in that dead zone. Sets the screen for Thornton. Lyles at the elbow. Good, Amani Lyles, the sophomore. Ali Ali, because of his movement in that area of the zone, pulled a defender with him, which allowed the backside to be open. Excuse me, that's Jamal Scott, number one. We got a big mismatch inside. With Magnus Anderson, they don't see it. Santiago came up short. 
did not see that you see, saw, Coach. Freeman running the floor, two-man game with Ali Ali. Scott again. Boy, Ali Ali sees so many options in real time. I just love his decision-making. Uh, Cameron Davis trying to muscle it in. And go out of bounds. Staying with Kent State, under 14 minutes to go. Ali Ali does such a good job in the dead zone, dead space. He draws that defender. See how Solinger is leading toward him? That's why Akron's able to get into a gap and make a play. Because he's so active getting inside and outside, he pulls defenders with him, which allows his teammates to score. It's little things that win games like that. Scott was the beneficiary on that one. Davis had his man up in the air and won. Well, Von Cameron Davis, coach, he scored the first five points of the game for Kent State. It was a concerted effort for the goal. Foul was on Dawson, his second. Von well, Cameron Davis, who has really been spectacular the entire calendar year of 2024. He had seven points in the semifinal game against Bowling Green. That was the first time in 2024 that he had less than 10 points in a ball game. Watch Ali Ali, number 24 in white. Watch him screen, watch him move, watch him get open. Here he comes. Good ball movement. Freeman, tough angle. Davis came over to help. Ali Ali, short on the three. Kent State basketball. This game is going to be won or lost by manufactured points. Who can go get an offensive rebound? and turn to a basket. Who can force a turnover and go down and let those little guards for Kent State go make a play for Rob Senderoff, but for John Gross, it's about offensive glass. Each team with eight offensive rebounds. Akron plus five overall in the rebounding category. Davis, pull up. Not his shot. Dribble the other way with a head of steam. Selinger the rebound, a lot of contact, no whistle. Fans are getting feisty here at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And we got a player down behind the play. It's Von Cameron Davis, who's in a lot of pain, Coach. Gavin had his tailbone, not sure if he landed on it. Coming down from that rebound attempt. Von Cameron Davis, 6'5", 229, such a physical presence. As you mentioned, the only Mr. Basketball to play at Penn State, and he is up and ready to go. He's got to make this defensive play. Backed off on the shooter, went down. Yeah. Landed right on the tailbone, and the foot of the cameraman underneath the baseline there. Hello. Glad to see he's back. Davis with those 12 points. And a walk it off. Second leading scorer in the game for Kent State. And remember, Kent State and Rob Sendroff, this is their specialty. Out of bounds plays, whether on the baseline or sideline, they score a lot of points on out of bounds plays. Santiago's been quiet, two for eight from the floor, four points. Sullinger's led the way with 17. He's got it now. And to shoot. Off the heel. Offensive rebound. Loose ball turnover. Gotta be smart. Got four gold jerseys back. Can't attack there. In the corner, it's Sammy Hunter. Flat line that three. Quick empty possession for Akron. That's a heck of a call, man. Flat line. That shot was dead from the time it left the hand. Floater. Sellinger. He's got 19. Tie ball game, coach. Yeah, what an exciting player. Jalen Sollinger. Let's go, Bob! I'd like to see more of that high-low action for Enrique Freeman inside. Good move, Ali Ali. He'll go to the line. Exactly 12 minutes remaining. And we are no... 
Now Sullinger is just, but once he gets his offensive rhythm going, he becomes such a dynamic presence. And then he's just talking to Santiago right now. And he's telling his backcourt, man, look, man, if you haven't gotten a goal yet, just keep riding it. We'll, we'll, we'll get this thing together. Those two, they meshed immediately when Sollinger came on campus. They became friends. They became tight. They play together. They read each other's minds. That is a close, close relationship. I asked Sollinger, what's one thing about Santiago that nobody knows that he's a movie buff? And right away, I asked Santiago, what's your favorite movie? He goes, what genre? <laughs> I said, old school. I said, back to the future. Okay. Yeah, pretty yeah, good choice. That's a good one. That was the first points for Ali Ali in the second half as he hits a couple free throws. But there he is. There he is. Back on top. Here's Santiago. Pick and roll. Davis. Spinning. Pivoting. Finishing. Santiago with the assist oh, off the pick and roll. Well, Marty McFly action there. 1.21 gigawatts. Third assist for Santiago. And Cameron Davis has 14. Knocks it up at 46. Ali Ali got a screen, missed the three. Well, really good luck with John Gross. He's dialing up plays for that timeout. Okay, the coaches in this league, Todd Kowalczyk at Toledo, just elite. Jeff Bowles down at Ohio. Well, what a great coaching pedigree the Mac has. See him doing tonight. Oh, Von Cameron Davis gives a little smirk to the Kent State bench after the free throw line jumper. I think he's okay. I'm pretty sure he's okay. First lead for Kent State since it was 24-23. Sammy Hunter trying to take it right back. It's Sullinger who tracks down the rebound. Nearing the midway point of the second half. Eric Rothman, Mark Adams here with you in Cleveland for the MAC championship game. Santiago, pull up, long two. He got that look in his eye off of the assist, and John Gross recognizes it and takes a timeout. The guard tandem coming to life here tonight. Electric guards in college basketball. He's got 19 points, 8 of 19 shooting. It's an 11 to 2 run for Kent State. They're plus 9 here in the second half. That's pretty good lineage right there. Yeah, we're going to have you write their, their family tree after this game is over. You've done your research, man. partner. Triple, short on the three. Foul away from the ball on the rebound. Freeman hit the deck. Well, I've covered now four of those guys during their career, now that I think about it. And the name Solinger, when you mentioned the high school ranks and the collegiate ranks, and what a steal it has been for Kent State to have Jalen Solinger wearing that gold flashes jersey. Second foul on Von Cameron Davis. Good post defense by Entman. Got in front of Freeman. Now Akron, one for their last 12 from the floor. They have not scored much here in this second half. Now you probably shouldn't pass it when there's three gold jerseys right in front of you. Trying to force it to Freeman. Leading to the turnover. Here's Sellinger, three to shoot. Step back, lean in. It was a Caitlin Clark-esque attempt, but went into the cheerleading section. She made my All-American team, by the way. Yeah, as she should. Yeah. And I'm not just talking women. No. She made my All-American team with men. That's right. She did more for college basketball than any player this year. Male, female, I don't care what it is. Yeah, the women's game. Yeah. Her, Juju Watkins. Yep. So much fun. Angel Reese, of course, for LSU. Entire South Carolina team. Freeman calling for it. He wants revenge on Intamin. Double teamed. Dribbles out to the corner. Turnover. Von Cameron Davis and Magnus Entamin wreaking havoc underneath defensively for Kent State. Uh, Von Cameron Davis right there. Look. Enrique Freeman put the ball in the worst situation. Dribbled away from the double team. Right to the sideline and the baseline. Now there's four defenders on him. Four-point lead for Kent State just over nine minutes ago in regulation. You know, Solinger can definitely dominate, but sometimes they bog down offensively because they stand around and wait for him to make a play. Santiago with five to shoot. Got a little window off the iron and out of bounds. 
And for Akron, Mark, you know, they are trying with all their might to get Enrique Freeman involved on the offensive end. He's only got five points here in this second half. Is there anything they can do differently to avoid the outcome we just saw in the last Yeah, game? look to teammates because there's always three jerseys around him. Guess what, basic math, if there's three jerseys around him, somebody or somebody's have to be open. Ali Ali, leading scorer for Akron. This three there by Michael Dawson. Sollinger's got 17, drives, spins, nobody to find. Takes it himself, Entman, the offensive rebound, draws a foul, it'll stay with Kent State. Well, Magnus Entman is just a want to God. I mean, this guy just keeps going. Look at the battle right there. He's, he's, he's battled up with Enrique, Enrique Freeman and just wants the ball. What a motor. Third foul on Enrique Freeman. As Entman, the walk-on, draws it against the Mac Player of the Year. Davis. Ball fake, drive, he'll go to the line. They keep going after number 22 for Akron. Dawson. As Michael Dawson. They just keep picking on him and picking on him. That's his third foul now. Well, that's what coaches are here to do, right, yep. Mark? You look in the NFL when you've got a safety wide receiver matchup you like, that's where you go. You throw to that wide receiver. Same thing here, Von Cameron Davis. And they haven't disguised it. Von Cameron Davis scored the first five points of the game for Kent State. It's been Davis early and often in the post, and that's opened up some shots for Santiago and Selinger on the perimeter. Yeah, that's exactly right. Von Cameron Davis has been dynamic at 6'5", 229 pounds. He's matched up with Dawson, 6'5", 222, so it's, it's not a physical mismatch, but Kent State feels like they can own him in the paint. Davis now 17 points, 10 of those here in the second half of the redshirt junior from Columbus. Zone defense from Kent State. And Entman in the middle is the traffic cop. Communicates well to the 14 and goal in the middle of that thing. The surrounding Freeman. Look at all the jerseys around him. They never give him space. Turnover. The 11th on Akron. Kent State has 13 points off turnovers, looking for more. Yeah, Kent State has no problem with making Akron stay in a defensive stance for about 29 seconds. Here we go again. Davis on Dawson. Sullinger, deep three. Rims out. Now you got to push it before that defense gets set. Seven minutes without a field goal for Akron. Johnson driving, fading to his right. Sweet touch for yeah. Nate Johnson. Akron's got to do more of that. Push it hard before the defense gets set and then get ball movement to get him chasing the ball. Santiago all alone. And again, it's Freeman and Entman jousting underneath. This time, Entman called for the foul. The NCAA tournament. Yeah, but that Pearl Jam fan that we just saw there, and Rob Senderoff can coach, and so can John Gross. This is a chess match now between two of the best in the country. Akron, it's been nearly 12 minutes of game time since Enrique Freeman scored, but they get some offense there from Nate Johnson and one. I just watched the reaction of the Kent State best. Look, that's something that Rob Senderoff is known for, running the backdoor lob, and John Gross as well. If these two guys understand every possession counts, a well-timed play, and Johnson to the rim with the finish. And that's the fourth foul on Karan Hornbeek. He's got big men foul trouble. You've got Hornbeek with four, Entman with three for Kent State. you got Freeman and Dawson both with three for Akron. Tie ball game, 6.52 to go. And now we'll see what Kent had drew up coming out of the timeout. Akelja not played much here in the second half at all. Back to Santiago. High dribble. A lot of dribbling, not much movement. Advantage Akron. Turnover. 
It's Dawson who jumps the passing lane. Dawson rejected by Davis. Now Santiago puts the moves on. Santiago to Hornbeak. Disrupted by Johnson, we go the other way. Dawson a pull up three. Foul on the floor. It's against Kent State. But Keldra called for the foul. Yeah, a lot of dribbling, not much player movements, which led to the read by Dawson. And then the block right there by Davis never gave up on the play. Santiago should just laid it up. Yep. Right to the rim, just lay it up. Try to go alley oop to Hornbeak. The Keldra picks up his first foul. Freeman draws another whistle, just a menace down low. In the corner, Johnson, no. Six minutes to go, dead heat between Akron and Kent State. Eric Rothman, Mark Adams with you, a foul up top. It's on Zach, Nate Johnson. It's his second. I mean, this is just an absolute buggy. <laughs> So it'll be Santiago to the free throw line. It's been a tough night shooting for Gio Santiago. 3 of 11 from the floor, 0 for 5 from 3. He's coming off a 20-point performance in the semifinal win against Bowling Green, where he went 6 for 8 from 3. He's been lighting it up recently, 14 points per game over his last five. And despite being second in the MAC coach in total three-pointers made this season, He's over on five attempts here today. Well, in this tournament, all of his field goals, all nine field goals coming into this game have been three-pointers. And look, when you play three games in three days, that means your legs are going to be tired. And right now, I think we're seeing that. So don't settle at that point. Go ahead and take the ball to the rim. That last decision was inexplicable. Don't lay that thing up. Penn State snuck in to the tournament. Mack only takes eight teams to its championship tournament here in Cleveland. Penn State, one game separated them in Ball State. Ball State who missed the tournament as the nine seed. Hunter for three, bricked everything. Sullinger. And now Davis wants to slow it up in the half court, five and a half to go. Yeah, legs tend to go on the third game in three days. Who can get offensive rebounds? Who can get second chance points? Who can get points off turnovers? Davis on Ali. Keldja walking the tightrope, and he's fouled. Bailed out, he had nowhere to go, coach. Five seconds on the shot clock, and that'll be the fourth foul on Hunter. Or excuse me, on Dawson. My apologies, Michael Dawson picks up his fourth foul. Uh, Dawson's going to be coming out because they've gone after him defense offensively anyway, and now with four fouls, they would really expose him down there. Shabazz Scott back into the game. McKelja at the free throw line. Not a whole lot in terms of offensive production for McKelja this year. Only averages two points per game, but he's been a starter since the middle of January. He's one of those glue guys, and he's the brother of Sincere Carey, the all-time great for Kent State. McKelja's family adopted Carey, and now McKelja carrying on the legacy. Yeah, McKelja's really physical defensively. Well, they got, they got Freeman isolated down low. They got to give it to him. Freeman has to pop up top for three. Drains it. Enrique Freeman's been quiet here in the second half. Had to go manufacture his own bucket from three. Akron's up by two. Ever been around. I, I love spending time with him. He's, he's an old, wise man in a young body. One of the four players on this Akron team who won this championship game back in 2022 against Kent State. There's Soldier out of the timeout, but Kelja in the corner. And knocked around to Ali Ali. As Kent State, four of 19 from three. 
John Gross wants to get the ball moving a little bit now with Kent State in the man-to-man. -man. Here comes Freeman. Look at that little pick and pop again. Ali, Ali. Look for out. Three on the shot clock. Jamal Scott from way out there. Jalen Selinger territory for Shamas Scott, an 11 to 1 run for Akron. And now the defense coming over. Dribble and Freeman. Ali Ali lays it in. On the offensive end, Penn State has been standing around watching Jalen Sollinger a lot. They need a little better ball movement, and they got to attack and get the ball in the paint. On the defensive end, you know, I, I think they've been a little soft. I mean, they've given those windows of shots when there didn't need to be a shot if you got ball pressure. Hornbeek out there with his fourth foul. Santiago inside, good feed. Muscled up and in. Vaughn Cameron Davis has 19. Great call coming out of timeout. Aggressive in the paint. Now Kent falls back in that 1-3-1 one, one zone for this possession. Burn clock a little bit if you're Akron. There's three minutes to play. Ali Ali was trying to thread the needle. That's a tough pass to make from that spot. Yeah, not a very good decision. Shout out to the cleanup crew here. <laughs> Looking like tennis ball boys coming every time a piece of confetti accidentally drops onto the floor from the confetti that is hanging in the jumbotron for the winner of this game. And a couple pieces sneaking out here and there. Freeman, no whistle. Out of bounds, Kent State basketball. Enrique Freeman just got his arm ripped off on that play, and there's no call. He's right in front of the Akron bench, and credit John Gross for keeping his composure. Not thrilled with the no call from Chad Barlow, John Floyd, and Alfred Smith. Good movement. I like the movement. Sullinger sitting on 19 points, goes to his left. Has to go out, triple. Good job on defense. Inside Davis. What a job from Cameron Davis has done in this game. Now the leading scorer in the ball game with 21. Yeah, Von Cameron Davis, he's an NBA player. No boys allowed when he's in the paint. Draws Kent State within three. Just over two minutes to go. Scott did a deep three a moment ago. Kicks it out to Tribble. Freeman threw it away. They threw it between two offensive players. That was a good look. It's where the ball should go. There's two guys over there, but he threw it between them. Big difference in this game, the turnover margin 12 for Akron, five for Kent State. The Golden Flashes have 13 points off turnovers compared to Akron's two. Go through Von Cameron Davis again, number one in gold. He's been the most aggressive offensive player. And one! It's Julius Rollins, his first bucket of the game. Kent State refuses to die. Julius Rollins would have been the last guy on the floor I would have chose to make a big play, but he did it right here. And that's the fourth foul coach on Enrique Freeman as Rollins will go to the line to try to tie this ball game. Kent State just refuses to die. The number eight seed had injuries to two of their best players. Somehow, some way, they can win a championship here in Cleveland. And folks, if you're looking for the Big West Championship between Long Beach State and UC Davis, that'll start on ESPN News and then switch over to ESPN2 when our game concludes. Freeman, fourth foul game, is tied at 59. Something's got to give for the final 138. Watch Ali, Ali, number 24 in white, coming up soon. There he is. He's got 18 points, guarded well by Rollins. Here's Scott in the corner. 
Ali Ali saves it, finds Freeman, he'll go to the line. Well-designed play, a little pick and roll between the two bigs, between Freeman and Ali for an open shot, and Ali goes like a bat out of you know where to go get it. I saw ACDC today in the Hall of Fame, by the way. <laughs> Not meatloaf. Freeman at the free throw line to give Akron the lead. He does. Our next ABC NBA Sunday Showcase doubleheader. Katie, Devin Booker, and the Suns take on Giannis and the Bucks at 1 Eastern. And then the Mavs hope to have Luka Doncic back when they fa face the Nuggets. Coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. Good call on Meatloaf, by the way. <laughs> Freeman splits the pair, and Kent State will have it. Now you have a luxury if you're Kent State. You've got Von Cameron Davis, who has shown time and time and again he can back down and defend or make a play. And Jalen Sollinger, who can make plays off the bounce. And they're going to review the out of bounds call, see who it touched last. With 121 to go. Freeman. Not only does he draw the attention of the defense coach, but now he's drawn nine fouls against Kent State. It just shows you the basketball IQ. He's always in position. Yep. He knows the work out of the double team, draws contact, sells it to the referees. It's an experienced player down there for the Akron Zips. You know, and he's a big play guy, certainly for the Akron Zips. But you know, Kent has their fair share of big play guys. Jalen Sollinger is fearless in this situation. Santiago is fearless in this situation. Von Cameron Davis, I don't love the way he has just bullied guys to the rim. Tribble has done a good job sticking to Sellinger here late in this second half. I would deny him the ball. I wouldn't let him have it back. Santiago would tend to shoot in a minute to go. Santiago, circus shot, Hornby, offensive rebound. Missed it underneath, no whistle. I'd go back to the Ali Ali, Enrique Freeman pick and roll and pop late in this shot clock. They're both right up there right now. Offensive foul. Off the ball. It's against Freeman. His day is done. The fifth foul of the game on Enrique Freeman. I thought it might be against Ali Ali. I think that right. foul. Yeah, apologies. That it's foul on Ali Ali. 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 Yep. I thought he signaled 25 and it was 24. So Ali Ali called for the offensive foul. Turnover number 13. And there was some contact off that on ball screen after the screen occurred. Santiago inside. Hornby. No! Offensive rebound, Davis blocked by Freeman! And a foul against Kent State. Enrique Freeman with the defensive play of the game. He goes straight up on that play. All ball on that play and then comes away with it and rips it through. Third block of the game for Freeman. And he'll go to the free throw line. That's all ball. It is. That's all ball. Enrique Freeman just made two back-to-back -back defensive plays that are changing the outcome potentially of this game. One and one here for Freeman. 23 seconds to go. Best he can do is make it a three-point game. Missed it short. Davis the rebound. And now Kent State can hold to win the MAC championship down by one. Solinger or Van, on Cameron Davis, number one in goal, or the man with the ball. Ten to shoot, Solinger in the lane, no. Hornby puts it up and in. Six seconds ago, Kent State a one-point lead. And a foul wow. on Rollins. And it'll be a one-and-one one free throw for Akron. No. Why is Rollins? Fouling. Julius Rollins did not know time and score and fouled on the play. 
reached out and fouled. Wow, what a miscue by Julius Rollins with Kent State up by one. The horn beat comes in from the backside because you see all the white jerseys go to the ball, tips it in, and Julius Rollins doesn't understand what the score is. The ninth team foul on Kent State. It's triple to the free throw line, a 74% shooter to shoot the one and one. Tie game. 4.8 seconds to go. And Rollins is absolutely beside himself. Akron, a one-point lead. The hardest working guy on this team, the season and the balance, Greg Triple. Got it. Off the front of the rim and in. Akron takes a timeout. They lead it by one with 4.8 seconds to go. Kent State subs in Taim Freeman. It'll be Sullinger to inbound. And 4.8 seconds to go, coach. The ball will go right back to Sullinger. Here he is. Four seconds. Sullinger. For the win. No! Akron escapes! And they're headed to the...